algebraic fractions can seem nasty but they are really just taking loads and loads of skills you already know how to do really well and combining them together. So this question isn't as nasty as it seems. Remember, if you want a hard copy of this, you can pop over to my website and get it there. The first step in simplifying this is to factorise absolutely everything. That should be your first instinct whenever we see something that has um, multiple terms of x in or whether we have something that has an x squared in or anything squared in. So, 4x squared minus 16, hopefully you should recognise this straight away as um, a difference of squared, and the fact that we can take 4 out of everything. So if I divide everything by 4, I get x squared minus 4. Um, x squared minus 4 is a difference of squared, so that is 4x minus 2 x plus 2. Uh, next one, 3x squared minus 6x. Again, we can take 3 out of everything here, giving us 3x squared minus 2x. We can also take x out of everything, so that gives us 3x x minus 2 x squared plus 3x. For this one, we can just take x out of everything, giving us x plus 3. x squared plus 10x plus 21. That is going to go, just by looking at it, I am going to guess that's going to go into two brackets. x plus x plus things that multiply to make 21 um 1 and 21 3 and 7 3 and 7 this now gives us a new equation to work with 4 x minus 2 x plus 2 over 3 x x minus 2 times x, x plus 3 over x plus 3, x plus 7. Now this looks a lot nicer to work with because the first thing we can do is cancel that and cancel that because it's on the top and on the bottom. Cancel that and cancel that because it's on the top and it's on the bottom. So our new equation is now 4 x plus 2 over 3x times x over x plus 7. Now, because we're just timesing, all we need to do is extend this little line along here and we can just times them. So we have 4x x plus 2 over 3x x plus 7 